Robots may take eventually all the programming jobs as we know them today, but until they did, let's use them to make us a better programmers. The ChatGPT is a very cool tool, I'm using it often, but I don't like that I have to jump to the web browser, write my prompt, then copy paste answer, go back to the Xcode or whatever I'm using and then again paste the answers and try to kind of merge all of that together. It's just not efficient, you know, and to be frank, chat GPT answers often are dumb as well. So for day-to-day -day work, uh, GitHub Copilot is way more effective and it is already a well-known tool to use for programming, right? That is just, I don't know, autocomplete on steroids, but unfortunately that doesn't work with Xcode and so what we can do as iOS developers. So there are three ways, I will say two, but okay, let me mention all the three ways how to use it. Let me show you. So the very first way to use it is AppCode. That's basically also ID for iOS programming and it has built in GitHub Copilot support, but unfortunately it is sunsetted already. So basically they are already kind of killing the product Okay, let's just forgot it. I just mentioned it because it was a good way to use it. Another option is VS Code. Visual Studio Code is not actually the best kind of uh, development tool for iOS developers, but we can use it. While I was talking, GitHub Copilot already tried to guess what I'm planning to write next. GitHub Copilot assumed I would like to have this function and maybe he's right. That's fine, but we are in VS Code now and yeah, you kind of can use VS Code to develop um, iOS applications, but it is just don't. I will open exactly the same project in the Xcode. How I'm using that basically, that's actually my day-to-day -day kind of workflow. I'm using it, let's open the same project in Xcode. Basically, I'm writing longer functions in VS Code to have the full support for autocomplete. Here is the same file. Uh, also, this uh, notification manager, let's make that font. A little, a little bit bigger, but my changes are not here yet. To get them here, basically I'm just hitting command save in this file and here we are. Here we have the same function right here. Sure, I could just stick with that and work with that, but problem is that, okay, this time I can compile and everything works, but sometimes not all the compiler errors will appear here if you are just opening it in the, if you are just opening project in VS Code, and sometimes it happens so that you are kind of auto-generating huge amount of code in VS Code and then jumping over back to the Xcode, building the project, and you see that, oh, there is a lot of kind of errors which you have to fix. Not uh, kind of end of the world, but still. By the way, if you are, will delete this file here in Xcode, you don't even need to hit command save to see all the updates in VS Code. So VS Code will automatically update. Um, actually, this using VS Code and Xcode side by side is is fine. I'm, I'm going with that uh, quite often. But that could be cool to have this Copilot support in the Xcode as well, right? Currently, it is not here. Uh, Xcode is developed by Apple. Apple not included it yet. I don't know if, if it will be included someday. I don't know. Who knows? But there is one nice open source project. So here it is, Copilot for Xcode. Let's install this and take a look how that will work. I will add links into the description. Just jump over it click all of that and you will see how it works. So basically, how you install? You need, first you need to install Node. I install, I'm using Homebrew. Basically, you can install Node in many different ways. Brew install Node, I'm just going with that. It's getting close and yeah, <laughs> congrats. As soon as you install a node, you are a web developer now. <laughs> Generating certificates, whatever. Let's take a look what is next step while that node is getting installed. So we need public network connection, we have it. An active GitHub Copilot subscription. Yeah, a GitHub Copilot subscription is about 10 bucks in a month. In my opinion, definitely makes sense to pay that if you are charging, I don't know, a few thousands in a month to do your programming job and those 10 bucks can make you much faster. That is just no brainer. You're just printing that money faster. Okay, we need permissions. 
for accessibility API kind of permission folder access. Basically, that is uh, macOS security permissions, which you should provide to the tool. Okay, installing and setup. So we can install using, again, using Brew. Okay, Copilot for Xcode was installed. Amazing. So, okay. Okay, here it is. Do, 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 do. So configuration may be a little bit tricky. Uh, I'm kind of installing it again from scratch just to see if everything is fine. So basically here is instructions. The same what we have on the GitHub. Install the node, correctly set up the node path. I don't know if that's correct node path. We'll see. Enable extension in system settings up from the Apple menu, blah, 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 system settings. Oh, here it is. Extensions, Xcode source editor. Okay, I have it already enabled. Amazing. Done. Sign in with GitHub Copilot. So we need to do that thing. So I am signed in in Copilot. I can sign out and I can sign in again. So for device activation, you will need to enter the code. Refresh. Status is okay, we are signed in. Amazing. Quite service when Xcode and host app are terminated. Yeah, basically, yes, real-time suggestions. Yes, I would like to get real-time suggestions. Those real-time suggestions not always works well, but seems that we have updated version for this application. Hopefully, it will work better. Okay, done. So, what else? No, with Copilot running, I'm opening Xcode. Basically, I'm in the same project here now. Let's add comment, let's say... So here we can go into the editor and in editor I have a new option here, Copilot. And if I will hit this one, get suggestions, I will get GitHub Copilot suggestion. Oh, we need to enable settings here. Oh, this one. Okay. Maybe we will need to relaunch Xcode, maybe not. Okay, one more time. Editor, Copilot, suggestions. File it to fetch editing file URL. Okay, if that happens, let's try to restart everything. You know, restart helps <laughs> quite often. Let's try to restart everything. Uh, restart this up as well. Okay. Let's try again, get suggestions. The command get suggestion is still busy. Okay, why? Oh, here it is. So it works. Here we got GitHub uh, Copilot suggestion. So does it work? Yes. Is it fast? The same speed like uh, VS Code? No, not really. And uh, here you can add shortcuts for everything. For example, we, have, we can ac accept suggestion. We can kind of ask for next suggestion. Okay, here are... Second suggestion, I can editor say accept suggestion, kind of yes, let's go with this one. It works, but it is definitely a little bit slower comparing with integration in VS Code, but it works. Why it is better? Okay, it is not better, it's different. Basically, you do not need to jump off from the Xcode, you just can stay in the Xcode and work here. And uh, I highly suggest you to kind of add uh, to create shortcuts. Basically, I created sh here shortcuts. Shortcuts are kind of tricky and hard to find because Xcode has a lot of shortcuts and everything that will come first in your mind will be already kind of uh, blocked and use it for something. Then just, you know, just delete it and replace it if you find something which feels kind of useful for you, but you are not using it really. And yeah, in theory, here should work also that kind of auto suggestions when you are typing and getting those suggestions on the fly. Let me try it one more time. Let's remove, let's comment out this. And I'm kind of waiting to see if we will see auto complete. Here it is. So GitHub Copilot suggestion is here. It is kind of working, but it is a little bit slower comparing with VS Code. My use cases are like, if I'm just writing 
I don't know, regular code. I'm using that uh, GitHub Copilot on the Xcode. I hope uh, one day Apple will kind of add native support and so that will be faster. But until then, I'm using this um, third party library and it works. It works fine. If you didn't try GitHub Copilot for iOS development, I highly suggest you. There are three months trial, something like that, at least one month trial on that GitHub Copilot. Give it a try and uh, you will see if you would like to pay those 10 bucks in a month or not. I think you will because it's amazing, you know. Why, why not? Why not? Why not make that programming easier? It is already hard enough without... <laughs> all the automation and all that stuff so why, why do not make it a little bit easier okay thank you for watching see you next one bye